up, everybody? How you doing today? William Bibbs from Free Power. We're going to talk about Aptera's batteries. And so let's get into it. All right, everybody, I hope you're having a good day. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to my channel. And we are actually going to get into talking about Aptera's batteries and how they are actually keeping everything, once again, simple and with good functionality. And eat. they're always keeping your um, right to repair in mind as well. So um, let's check this video out. Hello, Aptera fans. I'm Gustavo Gonzalez lead engineer of the battery team. Today we're sharing a portion of our engineering presentation. We'll be showcasing our battery and powertrain. Please enjoy. Uh, Gustavo has been leading our <clears throat> amazing structural battery pack team, uh, making you know one of the industry's uh, most energy dense battery packs. Uh, it's been great to see the evolution over the last year, uh, working with Sandy's team, um, analyzing other people's um, you know battery packs that are in production uh, and taking you know, all the good um, and adding in some of our um, <laughs> proprietary technologies to really make this a, a super energy dense pack uh, that really works well for our 42 kilowatt launch edition uh, vehicles. Um, these are just some renderings of how the pack uh, nope. kind of comes together. But some of the different layers that you're looking at are the cooling plates on the individual modules. So a lot of the speculation in the forums uh, and online chatter have been, is, is the battery air cooled or not? No, the battery is liquid. It's liquid cooled, liquid heated. So the thermal management of the battery is liquid. Um, whether it's heated or cooled depends on the environment, but it is a liquid cooled battery. Uh, Carl's been doing an amazing job leading our powertrain team, uh, working with the LAFE to co-develop uh, more energy efficient, lighter weight, um, less part count um, a propulsion device. And this really is the, the most efficient powertrain you can put on a vehicle now. Yeah, if you look at the, it might be difficult to see the power curve, uh, but the, the standard motor that LAFE had developed uh, was very efficient in a regime that was not our regime. So it was very efficient under a certain, under a higher load. Uh, that you'd need for a heavy vehicle. Well, with the Aptera being so lightweight and also not having having virtually no drag resistance at speed, it was in a different load regime compared to what they designed for. So we had to shift the design of the motor, change the windings, change the arrangement of the ba of the magnets uh, to shift that sort of efficiency mode from where it was to where Aptera will dwell at high high speeds, and uh, that improved the efficiency tremendously. Uh, this is kind of the motor breakout, but I think it's significant to point out that, um, you know, the the upright, the thing that holds the, the motor to the suspension is actually part of the motor. So we uh, were able to reduce part count and reduce weight, and it's just a, uh, a much easier assembly to put together. All right, to be clear, th this is not their motor. This is the one that we co-developed. Yeah. Um, we also co-developed a silicon carbide inverter uh, with a partner um, uh, just north of us, uh, and it's great to have an inverter that's you know 97% efficient versus kind of the industry 92% efficient. Uh, you can take that extra efficiency, that 5% extra efficiency, and take that right out of the battery pack because you're not losing those electrons as they're going through the inverter to the motor. Um, you don't have to have the battery power to, to push those electrons. So the money we save on battery, <laughs> we can spend on a more sophisticated inverter. Yeah, and this is a Rev-A inverter. Uh, Rev-B, the package is, I'd say, significantly smaller. So we don't, we're not showing a rendering of that yet, but we have to leave something for surprise. But uh, the silicon carbide makes that efficiency possible. To view the unedited presentation, join our accelerator program at invest.achara.us. Thanks for your support. Thank you so much. So here we see the battery pack and liquid cooling is the most popular way of cooling a battery pack. A liquid cooling system consists of a lot more components than the example of an air cooling system. These components do make it possible to improve the cooling performance by upgrading the components. Electric vehicle manufacturer like Tesla and Audi uses liquid cooling in their battery packs. This cooling system is a separate cooling system which only cools the battery pack. The motor and controller are cooled with a second liquid cooling system because of the temperature differences between the components. 
the battery pack needs to stay below 60 degrees Celsius, causing the temperature of the cooling fluids to stay as low as possible. The temperature of the motor and controller can reach temperatures as high as 140 degrees Celsius. So when those three components share the same cooling system, the battery pack will be heated by the motor and controller. The separate cooling system for the pack is necessary. Liquid cooling is the most favorite solution for almost every battery pack, whether it is a lower power or a high power application. Liquid cooling has the most advantages. With low power applications, the battery pack can be nursed so it will always operate at the right temperature. With high powered applications, the battery pack can be cooled with the maximum. The temperature of the cooling system must be kept as low as possible to enable maximum power for the longest time possible. As said before, the cooling system of the battery pack and the cooling system of the motor and controller need to be separate. These two cooling systems can occasionally be combined to heat the battery pack when needed by the motor and controller. Tesla uses this method, for example. They can heat the battery pack with the heat generated by the motor and controller. This is very useful during cold winter days. So Aptera is actually doing the same thing. They're keeping everything separate. They have a separate cooling system for the battery pack as well as a separate cooling system for the motor and a separate cooling system for the controller. So they are actually keeping everything simple. We know that this actually makes the battery pack last a lot longer. And also what we're gonna do is, we're not gonna talk about the Laffy motors. The Laffy motors, I did a video on them already, how Aptera worked with the Laffy to get the type of motor that they needed for Aptera since it was a lot lighter than the motors that Laffy had already started using with other companies. And I'm just going to put a link down in the video for that if you want to check it out. But right now, I'm going to go to the uh, launch or the accelerator program and take a look at what's going on there. We already know what's happening because Aptera is continuing to grow as we speak. So this is very good to look at, knowing that it's going to jump again. I haven't checked it out yesterday. I didn't do a video yesterday but I'm going to do one today and I know it's going to take a pretty good leap. So let's see what's going on here. And great giggly wiggly. Look at, oh yeah, look at that. 852 investors now. So I didn't check it yesterday, but the day before yesterday was at 822, 822. So that's, it's grown by 30 investors. Wow, that is awesome. Way to go, Tara. Man, I'm loving this. So now they're at $12.135 million. Oh gosh, this is awesome. So if you're an investor, this is the web page you want to go to. If you got $10,000, you want to go ahead and get the launch edition. Go ahead and put it down and join right here. And it looks like RP is still in the lead. It's going to be, RP is probably going to end up getting the number one vehicle. But I mean, we still have a long way to go. So we'll just have to wait and see. And of course, I'm not a financial advisor. You need to talk to your own financial advisor to see if this is something that you want to do. But yes, Aptera is continually to rise to the occasion. And if you want to invest in Aptera, that's the web page you want to go to. If you just want to invest in one of their vehicles and get some money off of it, you can use my link. This link will take $30 off the down payment. And you just use that link and you just have to put $70 down. You can design your own Aptera the way you want it. And you'll come out getting an Aptera, a solar powered EV that's going to, you don't need any gas or possibly not even have to plug it in to continue to drive this baby every day. And this paradigm shift is going to happen. It's nothing can stop it. It is going to happen. So yes, this is what you want to do. You want to use that link, 
Get $30 off, $70 down. It's all refundable. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, this is really awesome. Time to give a shout out to my patrons. You guys keep me going. Continue to watch my show and I'll continue to make the videos about Aptera. We're all excited about what Aptera is doing and what they're going to do. This is really great. I am so pleased that Aptera is continuing to rock this baby. And very soon Aptera is going to come out and you'll get your launch edition. And we'll be able to cruise around the world using free power. Yes, this is great. But uh, let me give a shout out to my patrons. Thank you for watching my show. If you're new here, hit the like, ring the bell, subscribe, and you'll catch all my new videos when they come out. And uh, Aptera is really literally going to take the world by storm. All right. Well, anyway, you guys, y'all take care. Y'all made my day. You have a good one, and we will see you in the next video. Y'all take care. Bye-bye.